Okay, so I got a new toy today. And I want to see what... It's a t-shirt press. Actually, it's a... It's a... The... Um, Beaver... Or Beaver... I don't know what they call it, but... Um, it's the 8 in 1 machine. And don't mind the mess here. The, the shed is still a mess. As you guys know, whoever has been watching my videos knows that I'm still organizing. And so, let's see what we got in here. We got... I think this is for the hats. It's an 8-in-1 machine, so I think this is for the hats. Uh, I cleaned my desk up a little bit. The, as much as I can. Like I said, it's still a mess. But I'm going to be moving the machine over to the desk to show you guys uh, better. So I think this is for the hat, part of the hat uh, uh, press. This piece here... I'm not sure what it is. Sorry, let me put my cigarette down. I'm a heavy smoker, so excuse that. Uh, I'm not sure what this part is, but eventually we'll figure it out. So let me just put it on here. This is a bigger piece. I don't have no idea what this is. Oh, this is actually the press. The cord. Put it up here. This is actually the press. The press itself, I guess. Or the top piece of the press. Some kind of sponge. I got this machine for um, $262 Canadian. It's a black machine. The same machine they have on sale for over $300. I guess nobody likes black. The other one uh, that they have for exactly the same, the 8-in-1, is um, black and blue or the black and red. This one I think is all black. That's why it was cheaper. Okay, I'll take it just because it's all black okay uh, instruction book I guess I'll look at that after now this is the top of the machine I'm gonna put this aside for a second I'm gonna be moving all this to the desk like I said so let me just put this here oh no this is the sorry this is, oh, it has the ring, I think this is the mug press for tumblers, for uh, coffee mugs and everything. This is a separate press. I thought, to be honest, I thought one machine, one press did everything. So this is a, a separate press because this one here, oh God, oh, I said it. This one here is the t-shirt one. As I was saying, like the ones that are more expensive, on the side here, and this piece here, they're like colored blue or red. This one is all black. So it's like, um, I think it was like close to $100 cheaper just because it's black. So, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to move this over to the to the desk, and then I'll move the camera over. I wish I had two cameras, but I don't, so. Let me just put this, whoa. Okay, so, to be honest, I don't know what I'm doing here right now, so let me just. 
press this down I guess grab the base and move this over like I said I'll turn the camera over there after let me put this on the desk this is not that big but and I guess one more piece in here this is this looks like a tumbler so I guess they have a set uh, separate ones uh, for mugs and coffee cups and that and then one for uh, tumblers and that's it that's all that's in the box let me just lay this down i'm going to switch the camera off now and set it up so uh, uh we can point it at the my desk this machine Sorry, this machine feels solid, like it's got some weight to it, meaning it, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's a cheap Chinese unit, probably obviously, maybe, I don't know, was, was made in China, but it really doesn't feel like cheap. Swivels, oops, I just hit my screen. Yeah, it's supposed to swivel 360 degrees, which is good. I don't know about this mat. That's dirt or just the way it is. But it does feel solid. Let me see the cord here. See if I can get it to light up. Where is the plug? I don't know if this is a good idea the way they have it set up here the plug actually goes right into the back of the display so every time you swing the arm you swing this it kind of the cord swings with it I don't know if that's what it is it seems like I don't like that design I wish they would have the, the cord here down on the on the base down here but then again yeah I don't know yeah I wish they would have the display down on the base somehow because this is this cord here is always going to be in the way you need a, a a bit of slack to be able to to spin it but let's power this on and see what uh, where's power here there you go hope you guys can see that but it does power up what I'm gonna do here is um, I'm gonna show you uh, all the other pieces and everything and then I'll set it up and I'm gonna have to find a t-shirt or a couple of t-shirts or and, and things and actually see how it works but for now I'm just gonna move this a little back and show you what else came with it okay this one here has its own plug so you would disconnect 
you would disconnect this unit from here and plug this one in and something else is in here I don't know what's in here but there's something in here one here I'm guessing is yeah there's like one two three oh I see what how this works so you would unscrew this one I'm guessing Yeah, so this how how it would work. I think this is for three different sizes of uh, mugs or and tumblers. What you would do is you would um, take these four screws off, unscrew this one, and then screw either one of these on, depending on what you're pressing, on what size of mug you're pressing. So that's how this would work. I'm gonna have to go down to. Uh, Dollar Tree or Dollarama maybe pick up a couple of mugs and tumblers to test it out it won't be a review unless we test it right or it won't be a complete review yeah so okay so they, they give you three size mug uh, presses which is good Each one has its own plug. Now I'm guessing you just use this. Yeah. So this face here would just sit like this. And you press it down. To heat it. And this would be an adjustment. So each one has... A little bit of movement if there's at least one inch screw here that you can um, you can tighten it loosen it so it gives you that that much play depending on the size of mug or tumbler so that's cool can't wait to see how this works never used one of these machines before so Let's see what this is. Oh, this looks like it's part for, uh, of the hat. To do the hat. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I don't know. I have to search it. I don't know how this would attach that's the plug there but how this would attach to anything like if this has got to be attached to something so we're able to do that would go like that now what where this attaches to I have no clue Actually has good instructions here, but and I guess this would be to do plates because it says you can do uh, plates also, dinner plates, and that. 
10 inch plate oh you can do 10 inch 8 inch or it's a uh, 8 inch adapter and a 10 inch adapter but I like to know how you, you can attach the hat well once we get once I get some uh, a, a t-shirt I'll try to find some hats to see if we can do a hat a t-shirt and a mug um, I'll play around with this and see where everything goes and then when I turn the camera back on I'll show you how to, um, to set all that stuff up but uh, yeah it does so far look like a solid unit like it doesn't look cheaply made this is not actually plastic this is uh, I don't know what it is it might be plastic but it's got some weight to it the other one what's this one here there's actually another one here I don't know what this one here it's like a a cone shape funnel sort of thing shape this might be for tumblers and so they have the one two three four of these adapters okay so we're gonna test this bad boy out Bear with me here. This is just uh, to test the machine. This is not going to be. Um, I haven't done this before, so this is actually. I'm going to try to do the best I can. But if I make a mistake, uh, obviously it's not going to be the machine's fault. But anyway, I'm supposed to turn this, printed it uh, backwards, because I'm supposed to face this down. So I'm going to put it on here as straight as possible. The machine is heating up. i got to go to 395. So. Like I said, it's not going to be perfect. I'm not going to waste time on uh, perfecting it or anything. Like I said, it's just to show the machine how it, how it works. And if it works properly, if not, I'll send it back. So I'll place that there. Uh, I'm going to have to use some uh, parchment paper. That clicking, I think it's telling me it's ready. Okay, I'm going to put this over it. And I'm supposed to press this for 12 seconds. So let's see how this works. I don't know, is that 12 seconds? I guess. Let's see how this did. Hey, not bad, man. That's pretty good. Let me turn this off. I got to get used to uh, using the machine. I got to read the instructions and that. All that clicking noise, I got to figure out what, what it is. Okay, so before I switch this machine over to do um, a tumbler and uh, a hat 
my daughter wants me to do a, a t-shirt for her so I'm gonna do another t-shirt here so I didn't show how the settings go the settings is there, there's I don't think you can really see it but here this button here is the setup button so if you push it once you set the setting for uh, the um, HTV heat transfer vinyl is um, at um, 305 five six seven whatever and then um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be uh, 12 seconds so there it's set for that uh, we just got to wait wait a while it, it takes quite a bit maybe uh, two to three minutes maybe a bit longer or whatever to reach the 305 so I'm gonna just turn the camera off and uh, and as soon as it uh, reaches the temperature I'll turn it back on that's what I'm gonna put on it angel fingers braids my daughter does braids she braids people's hair Actually, I got the shirt on backwards. She wants it on the front. Oh, wrong button. It's anywhere from 12 to 15 seconds. I'm going to let that cool a bit. This is uh, HTV vinyl. The the other one T-shirt that I did was uh, heat transfer paper. So the heat temperature the heat temperature on the uh, heat transfer paper was 365. This one is uh, this one is 305. That should be good. And there it is. Came out nice. I hope it's straight. She's going to complain about something. I actually didn't have to switch this one over. It seems to be the right size. But... If you do want to switch it to a bigger or smaller one, you just do these four bolts here and just switch the pieces over. This is the what I'm going to do on my tumbler. Uh, I put some um, tape. It's heat resistant tape just to hold it down. And put some parchment paper here. See how this works.
Let me let it cool down and then I'll take the the clear uh, plastic off. Boy, that's hot. I'm gonna let it cool down for a bit. But I'm telling you, that got hot. Looks nice though. I like it. Okay, so before I end the video, um, I do not have a hat, but I'm gonna try to show you guys how to switch the hat press over. Before I bought this machine, I I looked on YouTube for videos on how the machine works and everything, and every single video. It shows, the review shows how to do t-shirts or cups. And no one shows how to hook the, the hat press on. So I'm going to try to show you here on how this goes. The way, the way it looks is that, the, sorry about the shadow, I don't have a light to shine on here. But the way this looks is there's, there's two holes here with thread it. They're threaded. This will go on here. And I think it's M4 bolts. Uh, I actually don't have M4 bolts available right now. I do have them, but I, I, I wouldn't know where they are right now. But anyway, as you can see, there's holes here. And I'm sure this will bolt down right into there. Now, this press here is low, so I'm just hoping that this thing can go high enough. Like, this has got to go here, and then this one attaches, like, this has got to be removed, and this one attaches to here. That's the way I think this goes. So, let's just see if this can raise that high. Put a motor on here. Now this thing's got to go pretty high. Where? No, it doesn't lift. It's got to be all. Uh, Okay, and there's like two wing nuts here, which they're loose. So I think this is why uh, nobody, I I haven't seen anybody showing how to attach the half press is because you got to go through this trouble of removing this plate, the top plate. And this will go right here with the wing nut. And then this one will bolt on down here. Hey, okay, cool. And obviously you got your um, electrical cord plug that'll fit into here. 
Now I'm anxious to go out and buy a hat and see how this works. It should work because the rest of the machine works for everything else. So, anyway, that's how that goes. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys on my next video. Cheers.